Welcome everybody to another fun-filled episode of JTEC Transmission. So what we're doing today is we're looking at this nice flywheel which I'll show you guys shortly and we're looking at the axial and radial run out of it. Uh, what I have here is I have a nice little trainer and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we got the flywheel. And... Alright everybody, here we have a flywheel which is at the back of the engine. As you can see I have my dial indicator set up it's touching the flywheel and this right here is going to be a radial runout test and what that means is going to test the unevenness of the surface of this flywheel showing any discrepancies so I'm going to have one of my associates here go ahead and start rotating the flywheel and we're going to take a look at the dial indicator and see if it jumps around Alright, now I'm going to start to rotate the flywheel so that we are able to see any discrepancies. As you can see, already off the bat we have about 10,000 of a run out. And we're going to keep going, we're going to do one full circle. And as you can see, it maxed out at about 12,000. 12 thousandths of a run out. Which means that there's a uh, slight discrepancy in this flywheel. So now I'm going to throw the spec on that. There's no more than one thousandth per every two inches. And a cumulative of no more than seven thousandths. As you can see, I had 12 thousandths, so therefore the flywheel is no longer within manufacturer specification. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Have a great day.